can you solve this math challenge? Here's the question. Given that x is a real number that satisfies this equation 1 plus x raised to the fourth power all over 1 plus x raised to the fourth power equals 1 half, then the goal is to find the value of x that satisfies this equation. Now pause this video right now and see if you can answer this question because I will show you the solution in 3, 2, 1. Alright, so given this equation, the goal is to find a real value of x that satisfies this equation. So to answer this kind of question, so let's get the equation. And what we're going to do is to observe something. First, this x cannot be equal to negative 1. Otherwise, if this x is negative 1, 1 plus negative 1 becomes 0. So the denominator is 0 and we don't want to have that 1. Another x here is not equal to 0. Now here's the reason. If this x is 0, the left-hand side of our equation is just 1. And 1 is not equal to 1 over 2. So technically speaking, x is not equal to negative 1 and x is not equal to 0. Now at this point, let's set aside those restrictions. Now from here, what we're going to do is to do cross multiplication. So we have 2 plus 2 times x raised to the fourth power equals 1 plus x raised to the fourth power. Now let's focus on this result. And what we're going to do here is to expand this right-hand side, 1 plus x raised to the fourth power. So using Pascal's triangle, if we expand this, we get x raised to the fourth power plus 4x cubed plus 6x squared plus 4x plus 1. Now combining like terms and equate this to 0, we have negative x raised to the fourth power plus 4x cubed plus 6x squared plus 4x minus 1 equals 0. Now from here, we will use the fact that x is not equal to 0 because we will divide all of this term by negative x squared. So if we divide all of this term by negative x squared, we get x squared minus 4x minus 6 minus 4 over x plus 1 over x squared. Now we will see the reason later on. So let's focus on this. And what we're going to do is to rearrange some terms a little bit. So we have here x squared and positive 1 over x squared. We have negative 4x and negative 4 over x and then the constant term negative 6. Now from here, notice that we can factor out negative 4 in these two terms. So if we do that, we get negative 4 multiplied by the quantity x plus 1 over x. Now at this point, we write x squared plus 1 over x squared in terms of x plus 1 over x because x plus 1 over x raised to the power of 2 will give us x squared plus 2 plus 1 over x squared. So x squared plus 1 over x squared simply equivalent to x plus 1 over x raised to the power of 2 minus 2. Now we will replace this x squared plus 1 over x squared with its equivalent like this. Now, just combine common term, negative 2 and negative 6, this will give us negative 8. And since we have a common term of x plus 1 over x, what we're going to do is to use another variable. Let's call t equals x plus 1 over x. So our equation now becomes t squared minus 4t minus 8. And now, let's focus on this result. And as you can see, if this 8 is positive 4, so the right-hand side of our equation is technically a perfect square trinomial. So to make it 4, let's add 12 on both sides. Negative 8 plus 12 is positive 4. Now t squared minus 4t plus 4 is a perfect square trinomial, and we can factor this out nicely as t minus 2 raised to the power of 2. Now we can solve for the value of t. First, get the square root on both sides. So we have positive or negative square root of 12 equals t minus 2. Thus, t equals 2 plus or minus square root 12. But technically speaking, we don't care to the value of t. We care to the value of x. So now, since t is also equivalent to x plus 1 over x, what we're going to do is to combine them. But first, this 12 is 4 times 3. So we can simplify this further as 2 times square root of 3. Now, replacing this t with 2 plus or minus 2 times square root of 3. 
And now let's solve for the value of x. So first, let's multiply all of this term by x and then equate this to 0. Now from here, let's focus on this because we have two possible cases here. The first one is we have x squared minus the quantity 2 plus 2 times square root of 3 times x plus 1. And the other case is 2 minus 2 times square root of 3 times x. So now these are two equations that will give us the value of x. But again, we want real number x that satisfies this equation. So let's use first the discriminant of this equation to tell if the value of x is a real number or not. So the discriminant is equivalent to b squared minus 4ac. Now b here is the coefficient of x which is negative of 2 plus 2 times square root of 3. And we have a is 1 and c is also 1. Now simplifying this, we get 16 plus a times root 3 minus 4. Combined like terms, we have 12 plus a times square root of 3, which is a positive number. So we get a real value of x in this case. So now how about in the second case? So let's get the discriminant. So b squared minus 4ac again. This is now our b. We have negative of 2 minus 2 times square root of 3. a is 1 and c is 1. Now squaring this, expression this will give us 16 minus a times square root of 3 then minus 4 combining like terms we have 12 minus a times square root of 3 now is it negative or positive so let's approximate this 12 if we square this we have 144 and square of 8 times square root of 3 we have 64 times 3 is 192 so when we subtract this technically speaking we have a negative number so d is less than 0. And since the discriminant is a negative number, therefore we don't get any real solution or real value of x in this equation. So this case is not accepted. So now, let's focus on the first case because here for sure we get a real value for x. Now, this is not factorable, so we will use the quadratic formula. So negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. And we know the discriminant. This is just 12 plus a times root 3. So we can replace this expression with 12 plus a times square root of 3. And then we know this b is negative of 2 plus 2 times square root of 3. And this a is simply equivalent to just 1. Now, negative of negative, we have positive. So we have 2 plus 2 times square root of 3 plus or minus square root of 12 plus 8. And this 12 is 4 times 3. And this 8 is 4 times 2. So we can factor out 4 in these two terms because the square root of 4 is just 2. So we can simplify this further as 2 multiplied by square root of 3 plus 2 times square root of 3. Now, at this point, Let's simplify this further because if we divide all of this term by 2, we eliminate this 2, this 2, this 2. This is just 1. So we have 1 plus 1 times square root of 3 plus or minus 1 multiplied by square root of 3 plus 2 times square root of 3. And this is our answer to this question. Therefore, given this equation, 1 plus x raised to the fourth power all over 1 plus x raised to the fourth power equals 1 over 2, wherein x is a real number, then the value of x that satisfies this equation is simply equivalent to 1 plus square root of 3 plus or minus square root of 3 plus 2 times square root of 3. And as always, we are done.